now, ladies and gentlemen, for the next fight of the evening, under 67 kilograms, introducing hers to the blue corner, is coming from Lithuania. Please welcome to Martinas Dario. This is a rematch a long time in the making. These two fought in the finals of the World Grand Prix back in 2014. And Raylion won on points after an extra round. And now, all these years later, the rematch is gonna happen. Martinez Danius of Lithuania, longtime KOK fighter and has participated in a number of fights here in Moldova over the years. As we take a look at uh, Pavel Zhiravlev on the Russian commentary team. Danius is uh, a three-time Lithuanian champion and has been fighting for KLK and FIA since 2013. His last fight for the organization was last October. It was a loss by split decision to Dmitry Sirbu. So he's looking for another big win here against a former rival. gentlemen calling his opponent to the red corner is coming from Moldova please make some noise for Maxi Raila gentlemen presenting the blue corner Asia 25 weighing 67 kilograms height 1.75 meters having a personal record of 44 fights 33 wins and 12 losses he's fighting for k1 academia ladies and gentlemen from Lithuania make some noise for Martinez Darius presenting the red corner Age 32, weighing 67 kilograms, height 1.66 meters, having a personal record of 32 fights, 24 wins, and 8 losses. He's fighting for Neo Gym Thai Stars from Moldova. Make some noise for Maxim Reina! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a super fight under 67 kilograms, permitted 3 round, next for 1 round, K1 move. So obviously these two familiar with each other. It's been a long time since 2014, but they're ready to do it again. I'm sure that they've probably relived that fight on video and certainly remember it. It was a war. It went an extra round. But Raylion won the World Grand Prix after an extra round. 
with Danius. Danius, the taller fighter, 175 centimeters, really on 166. Lithuania versus Moldova, what a, probably the longest rivalry between nations. Of course, King of Kings based in Lithuania and FIA based in Moldova. So a large volume of fighters from those two countries have clashed over the years. And the two promotions continue to share talent, even though FIA now rebranded as via kickboxing, still recognizes the KOK champions that are from that organization and still share talent. Look at this now. Look how quick he is. Danius lighting up the legs, got his man trapped here against the ropes. Powerful shots downstairs by Raylion. And another good low kick. I think that the Lithuanian now really finding a home for those low kicks, and then explodes inside on his opponent, looking for powerful shots down to the body. Look at the welt. Look at the size of the welt on the back of the, uh, like the side and the back of the rib cage of Martinez Danius. Looks like almost like a burn, like he's been burned with a branding iron or something. Raylion now, got a few shots in, got a man against the ropes here, giving a taste of his own medicine. Crowd responding here, they're pumped to see the return of the fire boy. And he's looking for something big there, but couldn't quite pull the trigger. Had his left arm inside there to block any potential knees coming his way. And lands a push kick to the abdomen right on the bell. End of round one. Well, certainly this fight showing some signs of uh, two fighters who know each other. Both guys seem to be very cautious in there, but at times, really opening up on their opponents. Let's take a look here. That was the kick that really did the damage to the back, right there, right to the back of uh, of Martinez Danius that just tattooed him. You can see the result there on his back right now. Shows you just what kind of power Maxime Raylian is packing and why he does have so many knockout victories. Fight. Round two action here at the 2019 VIA World Grand Prix. Keep in mind, folks, we're gonna close the show later tonight with the finals of the Welterweight World Grand Prix. Konstantin Rusu and Dorel Christian will meet once again, this time with the championship at stake. Overhand right there by the Fireboy. Good combinations, a left hand straight up the middle, blasted him. And another overhand right. Raylion just relentless here. He just won't stop. That's about a 20 punch combination right there. Still going. He's not giving him a moment to breathe. He's been punching him for about 30 seconds solid. But you, you call it fighting inside of a phone booth. And maybe it's a, those boxing skills. He's been uh, pursuing professional boxing recently. Certainly letting his hands go.
Nice turn there by the Lithuanian as Danius tries to do some damage to his opponent. I'll tell you, that's going to look really good on the scorecards for Raelion, who's just standing right in front of his opponent at close range, landing a huge number of shots. Really working the body now of Danius. Oh my, popped him. Turned his jaw inside out. You gotta remember too that even though you're fighting the same guy, this is many years later. It's like five years later, so these two guys are different fighters too. These are not the same guy. They're older, they're wiser. They've had a lot more experience since their last encounter. Really on again, working the guts. Burying his fists into the bread basket of Martinez Danius. Danius is a great amateur fighter before he turned pro. Has so much experience too for a 25 year old. He's 33 and 12. Kid really stays busy and he's got his nose busted too. Take a look at the left nostril of Danius. Filling up with blood. He's trying some knees now, but you can see his energy is just zapped at this point. I think all that body work by Raelion has really added up. And Danius is exhausted. Well, the body language speaking volumes here. Keep in mind, folks, FIA.MD is the official website. FIA Fights. Dot TV is the place to watch live. Via Girls, letting us know they actually have their own social media pages as well. Via Girls, search for it. That was a solid round for Raelion. Just a taxing round. He was punching almost non-stop for the full three minutes. Just working the body. You ever see those training videos? Where the guys just let their teammates just punch him in the chat in the midsection over and over repeatedly. That's basically what we saw for the entire duration of round two. And now we're officially underway here. Donio scores with a jab. Raylan keeping the distance a little bit more here. Whoa! That one strayed down into no man's land. Back to action. Now sometimes guys tell me, you know, hey, what, you've got like five minutes to recuperate after a low blow, why not take it? Well, there's a second one. Why not take the time? You have other guys say, well, it's because you've got all this adrenaline going on here, and a lot of times when you take that long of a break, you can, that adrenaline drops. Your energy bar drops after that. Second consecutive low blow here, of course, accidental, but I think it, that, you know, guys get tired, and their shots are not as accurate as they once were in the fight, and that's when things like that happen. Low kick goes in from the Lithuanian and another one. You can see he's not able to generate the same kind of power as he was earlier in the fight. Is Martinez Danius of Lithuania in the long black tights. Raelian now closing in on him, goes back downstairs again. That's what he needs to do. Stick with what was working. Try to, a different kind of a game plan here in the beginning of round three. He needs to go back to what was working and that's this. Close range, working the body, punches in bunches. What happened here? Somebody's mouthpiece fell out. Well, the pace of this fight, the high output, wearing on both guys. Certainly, Raelion 
And Danu still game here, still going at it. You can tell just from the body language of both these guys, they are tired. One minute left though. I think Danius needs something big here. Nice push kick there by the Moldovan. There's that kick again, right in the same spot. Really generating a lot of power. I think that Danius, he doesn't feel comfortable fighting at such a close range. You'll see that in boxing matches, not so much in kickboxing where the guys just sit inside, they're not clinching and they're just very, very close. Using their head, using their shoulders, using those short inside punches. I don't think that Danius knows how to respond to this particular kind of a fight and offensive strategy. Ten second hammer goes down now. That seems to fire up Danius. But Raylion responds. Referee has decided an extra round. An extra round? All right, let's do it. Crowd is, uh, I don't know if they expected that decision. There wasn't a huge rousing round of applause when they announced that. Both these guys are pretty tired now at this point, so keep your eye on this extra round. Well, this is uh, like deja vu. like. The finals of the World Grand Prix in 2014. But here we go. Will it be the same kind of decision that it was last time? And that was a unanimous one for Ray Leon in that extra round. Good low kicks now going in from the Lithuanian. And again, the Moldovans moving. Look at the way he's sticking and moving. Uppercuts, finding a home. You can tell he has really polished his boxing technique. Certainly on display right now. Overhand right, whoa, that one took a toll on him. It's almost like a boxer versus a kickboxer in this matchup, isn't it? Tagged him. Well, this one hasn't been a pretty fight. Not that it's been dirty by any means, but it just it hasn't been a very aesthetically pleasing fight to watch. But it certainly has been an effective one. Both guys have dished out the punishment, and it's one of those fights that just wears you down. And when it's all said and done, both guys are gonna be sore for weeks after this one, I guarantee it. Whoa, narrowly missed there with that head kick. You can tell though, even though he's been using punches primarily though, take a look at the left side of the body of Martinez Danius. He's thrown some big time kicks in this matchup as well. Nice little uppercut. Oh, and a sweet little move. Look at that sweet move there. 
by the fire boy. I suppose he's 32 years old now. He's not much of a boy, is he? The fire man, he's gonna have to change his name to the fire man. Thirty seconds now, remaining in this extra round. We must have a winner here. Nice shots landing again by Raylion. Two great rivals here in Fia. Kickboxing, but Raylion has snapped the head back of Donahue several times in this extra round, and it just might seal the deal for the fire boy in the extra round. No, Donahue says he got it. Raylion says he's got it. The judges will decide it. Ready?